High Speed 2's London to Birmingham cost soars to £66 billion and due to a problem with the construction, the trains won't even be able to fit onto the tracks. The error was announced today to MPs and to the press by HS2 Limited's Executive Chair Jonathan Thompson, who told them that costs have risen so much over the past decade due to some poor cost estimating, changes to the project scope, some poor delivery, the impact of inflation and because we accidentally laid the wrong size train tracks. Shocked politicians flew into a bombardment of questions for the chair who answered the best that he could that no, they hadn't known all along and they only found out recently when they tried to run a train on part of the 100 mile of track they'd already laid. There will now be a parliamentary debate to see whether it is worth the additional £10 billion it will cost to remove the unusable rail and lay new one or whether we should just cut our losses. Members of the British public are also being asked to put forward alternatives of what it could be used for. With making it a nature walk or an open air prison for anyone involved directly with the decision making on the HS2 project on top of the lists currently.